my ladies, hello my gals, hello my sexy bad gals. If you've been here for at least a month or so, you are officially a certified bad gal. It means that you've done at least three or more tutorials, okay? So, I'm your girl Chris Corio. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I am a dance fitness instructor and a licensed physiotherapist operating out of Jamaica. I have virtual classes, yes I do, both one-on-ones and group fitness classes. Send me a message at my website, the link is right here, if you're interested. I also have sensual, ultra sensuality classes, both in person, face-to-face, -face, right here in Jamaica, in Montego Bay, Ultras, and Kingston. If you're interested, click that link, go to my website, www.chriscorio.co. Now, in this video, we're going to be doing more reverse whining. My last reverse whine video did over 700,000 views and I said, girl, let me get into this. Let me focus some more on this. So today we're going to be doing a little bit more of an advanced reverse whine. We're going to be doing some hip opening exercises. They're going to be extremely intense. So buck up, make sure you're ready for these. All right. We're going to be doing hip flexor stretches. That's the hip and it flexes upward and so the muscles that flex the hip are called hip flexors so these muscles right here then we're going to be doing some full splits all right and we're doing them five sets of 20 seconds you will need socks this is an advanced video intermediate to advanced if you have already checked out my reverse wind video click the link it means that you're ready to come and do this after you've done that for a few times remember you should not feel pain you should feel some stretches but the stretches may become very intense but it should not be painful listen to your body and ensure that you follow suit modify the movement to suit yourself okay so i have yoga blocks here these are ordinary yoga blocks um, they're made from uh, cork material but you can use whatever yoga blocks you have sometimes some persons may have phone directories still I don't know what age you're living in but <laughs> you can use your phone directories or you can use a very thick book or if you have some makeshift blocks that you can use you can go ahead and use them but I recommend something firm that you can hold on to the next thing is I am currently sitting on a or kneeling rather on a very thick exercise mat if you don't have a thick exercise mat, get your booty on a thick carpet and then, my girl, you can put in some cushions, all right? Now, I like to use cushions because I don't like to have carpet burns. I'm light-skinned and so when those burns come on, they take a long time to get the hell off and I'm not interested in those things right now. And I know I'd get off a lot of good chef where I shot them, chef where I skirt them, and chef I'm the man them, right? Can I demand them with carpet burn knees? I just say go. That's all I've said. All right. So, first thing first, we're going to do some hip flexor stretches. Now, the hip flexor stretches, you can put the blocks away for now. The hip flexor stretches, you don't need the cushions either, unless you have pretty sensitive knees. Uh, you're just going to sit on your heels just like so. And if any of these activities is difficult for you, I want to ask you to back off. Now, usually many persons, if we stand a lot um, or you do a lot of walking, this alone is stretch enough for your ankles. So what you can do is just rock yourself around from side to side. Make sure the ankles are nice and released a little bit. You may have to pause the video and take a little bit longer on this stretch. If that is you, that's no problem. All right. Here, let's focus on the breath and we're just going to roll ourselves back and reach back so the hip flexors are right here so you will start to feel a very intense stretch right there you can get down on the elbows and eventually you can reach down and just get your hold back on the floor i'm going to start off right here holding one two four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18, 19, 20. And I'm going to go come up, release that with a nice counter, just stretch out the legs, shake it out. Now, this movement is very similar to the, the uh, reverse wind posture that we're going to be getting, in, getting into. Uh, so it's a nice preliminary movement there. All right, we'll go again. We have five of them to do. And each time we do it, we're pushing ourselves to go a little bit further. So here we go. I'm going even lower down. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, and 20. And release yourself up out of that movement. Get into a nice counter stretch, shaking the legs back, shaking the legs back. We have three more of this one to do. We're gonna get right into it. Here we go. If you're having any cramping, pause the video, do some gentle stretches, do some deep breathing, and you should be fine. Here we go. Reaching back. Whew. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. I release up and do that nice counter stretch. I have two more to go. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Two more to go. The last two are the most intense, all right? So we're really pushing ourselves as far as we can go. So here we go in three, Two, wobble 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 yeah and what I'm doing as well so versus just and probably but my head might get cut off <laughs> uh, what I'm doing as well I kind of allow my hips to fall in between my my heels if that's available to you then go ahead and do it if not don't do it don't push yourself beyond especially if the knees begin to really ache and pain all right so I'm gonna go back as far as possible hopefully my head remains in shot Holding here. Seven, eight, nine. And 20, lifting upwards. We have one more to go. Ah, I'm already start, starting to feel loose and nice. One more to go, here we go, reaching down. Remember, go as far as you can. If you remain on your elbows, if this is all that's available to you, then that's fine. Listen to your body and do exactly what you can manage. Don't push yourself, especially if this is the first time you're doing this video. Make sure you listen to your body and do what it is that it's telling you that you can do. All right? Sometimes forcing it or pushing way too hard or being overly motivated is not the best thing. All right? So come back up. Ah, and that was five. All right, so now we're going to move on to the severe, the intense full splits. And we're doing five of them, holding them for 20 seconds. These blocks are excellent. And they come, because of the way that they're shaped, you can utilize them and for different levels. So the beginners will be right up here, which is really high. And then you go to about a moderate height. And then a little bit more intermediate. And then no blocks is meaning that you're you're pretty okay you really don't need any blocks all right so the position for the half the full split now is that i want you to consciously think about tilting the tailbone back so tilt the tailbone back in what is known as an anterior pelvic tilt so the anterior relating to the front of the pelvis you tilt it forward in jamaica what i say cock your body back you hear me i tell you so we do that so when you're going out into the splits you open the legs the bottom is cocked backwards right the heels are pointing upwards or the heels are on the floor and the toes are pointing upwards and for me i'm going to go midway to start off i will hold this for 20 counts focus on the breath out two three Woo. <laughs> four and 20 all right you see the thing is the incredible thing about the full split from what from i don't know about anybody else but when i do the full split because i am i do have flexibility my body is afraid of just letting go my inner thighs let go so the, the trick about um uh, stretching is what I read somewhere before I don't remember where exactly but your body's a lot more flexible than you think it is um, it's really just the nerves 
the nerves and the muscles, so the neuromuscular connection, just need to be comfortable with a particular stretch. And so the longer you're able to hold a stretch and just do deep breathing and allow yourself to just get used to the movement. It's okay, it's all right. Nothing is gonna rip, nothing is gonna tear, right? Unless the body understands that that's not gonna happen, it won't allow you to go all the way down. And what I find is that the longer I hold a stretch is the deeper and deeper and deeper. Sometimes it's kind of scary. <laughs> so I'm sharing that because yes, I do go through that as well. Um, so it's just something you have to just breathe and just concentrate and just allow it to flow. So let's go for the second one. Here we go. Heels out, toes up and going down. And 20. <laughs> All right, so that was the second one. Whew. Stretch it out. I have a third one to go. And a fourth and a fifth. So, third, fourth, and fifth. We have three more, and then we're going to get into our reverse waiting. All right, here we go. And I'm at this level now, but I'm going to actually, as I get down, I'm going to flip them downwards as I get more comfortable. Here I go. And the switching of levels may not happen in the first video for you or the first time doing this. It might take some time, right? Okay. Oh, child. <laughs> Oh, we got two more. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this front split, it's so difficult. But the more you do it, is the better it becomes. Because I remember when I just started doing um, reverse wine and I was doing a front split. I used to kind of do it back in the day, you know, just to kind of do it because as dancers, you have to be flexible, you know what I mean? But when I first started doing it, it was hell. It was hell. And so now that I'm doing reverse wine a little bit more and more ladies are asking me to teach it to them in the classes um, and you find ladies are asking me to do more tutorials, more progressions to what I've already put up, my hips are opening up so much more. And you know what as well? It's helping with my chronic back pain. I've mentioned it on here before that I do have chronic back pain and opening the hips tends to help my back pain. Now that's not a cure all for everybody, so don't think that because it cures my back pain, it will help yours. But I'm just saying, let me just share that with you. Sometimes when the hips are pretty tight, because all the bones, everybody's connected, it can actually affect other parts of the body. Here we go. Second to last set. all right oh damn Ooh, we have one more set to go and i think on that last set i'm feeling like i can just away with the blocks so ensure that you listen to your body okay i can't stress that enough shake it out just rub on the legs make them know that it's okay baby it's okay we're getting a little bit a little bit of a little bit of stretching tension here and there, but it's okay. Okay, just relax the muscles. Ah, and deep breathing. Last time, now we'll get into our bad gal reverse whining. <laughs> here we go in three, two, and one. Ah, up with it, gal. There we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> there we go. Coming down. Get that balance. Woo! Woo! Ah! It's a balance for me. Ah! Damn! Okay. Okay. Okay, your girl's been working. <laughs> 
So now we're going to get into reverse wind. And even though I am on this nice cushioned mat, I'm going to bring in my cushions. All right. So take this break, get some water, whatever you need, get your cushions, get your, your, your knee bands, whatever it is that you need. We're going to get into our bad girl reverse wind right now. All right. So I do have my two cushions and as you can see, these are pretty worn out. They're old as if, but you know what? I want you to pay attention to the fact that the two of them are symmetrical. Now, if they're not symmetrical, you have one higher than the other. What will happen is that one hip, which is typically the one that's higher, will be a, little, a lot more stretched out than the other one. You want to make sure that you try to attain or aim for as much symmetry in the body as possible. If you don't, it can lead to things like scoliosis. Yes, you can develop scoliosis later in life. <laughs> um, and different ailments can come over your body you understand if you develop asymmetry because you're training asymmetrically you understand so get your cushions try to make sure they're as symmetrical as possible all right so here i go i'm going to get on here and the first thing that we're going to be doing is moving a tick tock tick tock so right back left and for and side and forward um so in our previous videos which i've linked below as well reverse wine um, we did take just kind of nice and gentle, but now we're going to be doing it like a sharp, 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 sharp. So I want you to get that nice ticking, that nice Jamaican sensation. All right. So if it's too much for you, I want you to back off of the movement and just practice the first stretches again. Um, go revisit the older uh, reverse wind tutorial and that should be helpful for you. All right. So here we go. I'm going to get into my reverse wind position and for the persons who uh, have forgotten the stance. I don't think anybody has. <laughs> uh, it's right here. And I'm actually positioning myself on the outside of my knees. And thanks to the stretches that we did just now, I am nice and open, right? So I'm nice and open so my hips are able to sit on top of my heels, all right? Now, if this is not available to you, you can be up here, curl the toes under, and just sit back on the heels like that. This is also an available or a possible position that you can do the reverse line in. There's no shame. Make sure you're comfortable, no pain, all right? So we go down and we're gonna go side, back, side, forward. You see the dynamics? That's what I want, all right? Here we go. Three, two, one, and ba, ta, 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 again. Two, ta, 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 again. Three, ta, ta, Ta and four, pa, ta, ta, other side, ta, 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 two, two, and three, three, <laughs> four, and relax. Shake out the legs if you need to. Many of us may need that shaking out the legs, get the circulation back into the hips, all right, because it can be very painful. You can get some cramps if you don't. Now, the next thing we're going to be doing is a double, double tiktok on each side if you need to do over the regular tiktoks which we just did rewind the video and go ahead and do it all right so we're going to do tick 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 which can which is pretty much like this so tick 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 right so it's a jamaican way of doing tiktok right so here we go we go down on the floor Three, two, one, and tick, 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 three, four, and this side now, and three, two, one, and ba 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 two, three, four. All right, shake it out. So now that we've done the double ticks, we're going to add them. We're going to do some whining four times to the right, four times to the left. And then at the end of all of that, we're going to put them together. Okay, so let's go. So whining. So whining is just either you're up here and you're whining. All right, on opposite side or you're down here. All right, which is what we're going to do now. Three, two, one. So you push the booty back. And you notice when I push my booty back, it gives the illusion of a smaller waist. You see? Smaller waist versus like this. Right? Push the booty back. And anterior pelvic tilt. Cock it back. 
just like we did in the splits so here we go three two one and one round two three four all the way one two three four all right shake it out and now we're going to put all of them together and then i have one more trick to show you <laughs> i hope you're ready for this one this one can be very difficult but i'm going to show it to you anyway because my bad gals deserve to get what i have to teach them okay so here we go we're going to do tick 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 two times two times both sides and then we wind two times no we do the double tick two times i'm just going to tell you okay i'm just going to tell you what we're going to be doing so we're doing four let's do four sets of everything <laughs> listen to me listen to my instruction here we go because, girl i will confuse your ass here we go <laughs> here we go are we doing one, single tick so tick 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 four times to the right four times to the left here we go three two one here we go one back here two three four and other side one two three four and now we're going to be doing those double six so double 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 five six seven we go Ba, 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 ba. Two, three, four. Other side, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. And now we're going to do the wine. Six, seven, and one, two, three four all the way one two three four all right so the next thing i wanted to show you <laughs> the next thing i wanted to show you i'm gonna have to turn sideways for this one um it's an open and close of the legs i may have to remove my cushions for this simply because i do need to be able to glide now if you are for example on the floor make sure you have either a yoga mat make sure you cushion your knees properly i just don't want my girls to have carpet burn knees like i do not want you to have that all right so make sure you have enough full tights you are protecting your knees your skin everything all right you have it look here we ladies in the streets but we in the sheets okay so we have to remain ladies when we go out or mini dresses have to, okay i'm just saying i'm just saying protect your knees protect your knees protect them so so we're gonna go here 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 now what this is ladies it's a series of pelvis let me see here the pelvis goes it tilts forward and it tucks back tilt back so it goes here back here back so if i was to stand it goes in it's just like if you're doing a body roll in back in back in and then you see how the legs are moving here it's the same thing when you're on the floor it's the same thing you're going to be doing all right so if i'm on the floor here then right here's what you do six seven eight here the hips come the hips come okay so when you open the hips open up and then it curves under as you pull them in and then the butt, butt sticks back out and then again it curves under drop the hips under tuck it under and then pull it back curve it back curve it back curve it back curve it back again curve it pull it back curve it pull it forward and back curve it pull it back all right so i do hope you enjoy this updated reverse wine tutorial i'm going to call it the elegant bad gal sexy dancehall version to reverse wine if you 
are appreciative and loving my content make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you subscribe because it motivates me it makes me want to do more big up on yourselves and the girl chris Coria. check the links down below for all the information of my upcoming events of all the classes that i've posted online make sure you check my website for all classes that were pre-recorded and not available on youtube that is premium content yes you can support me via my paypal i'm going to link it below as well i love you all so much later booty jiggle booty jiggle i do have a tutorial for how to make the booty clap it's right here yes i do i do I have everything over here. Subscribe.